YouTube works like any other social media platform with an algorithm to curate content. YouTube is big. There are literally millions of videos on YouTube. So the YouTube algorithm is there to get the right content in front of the right viewer. According to this paper by Google, the YouTube algorithm is literally programmed with the goal get more watch time. Because more watch time means that viewers stay longer on the platform and therefore YouTube earns more money with ads. But how does YouTube decide which videos to show? Well, it looks at viewer behavior. On which videos do you click? Which videos do you skip? How long do you watch a video on a topic? On what topics did you search previously? Which channels did you watch previously? And what videos do you like, subscribe and comment to? And based on this information, YouTube shows you videos on YouTube Home, Suggested, but also YouTube Search. And for every suggestion that YouTube does, it calculates the likelihood of that viewer watching that video called expected watch time. Meaning that YouTube search results are highly personalized. Not a single person on this planet has exactly the same YouTube Home screen or exactly the same YouTube search results. And this is why you should use a privacy tab in your browser where you are logged out from YouTube when you do keyword research. Research. So you always get the most objective results. Hello, thanks for tuning in. My name is Dexter from the Netherlands and I have actually a degree in software engineering. So I look uh, with a little bit different glasses at the YouTube algorithm. YouTube is all about viewer satisfaction and engagement. The YouTube algorithm does not judge if the quality of the video is good and it does not judge if the information in the video is any good. It does judge how viewers react to that video. And this is why YouTube has such a hard time to keep false information and conspiracy theories out of YouTube recommendation because people with a certain mindset enjoy those videos. Here are four basic rules if you want to get traction as a small channel. Make viewers click, so make sure that your title and thumbnail are top-notch. Second, make viewers watch longer, so make your videos interesting from beginning to end. See the graph here on the screen for reference. Number three, make viewers react by asking for engagement or say something controversial. And make viewers return, for example, by making multiple videos around the same topic. To be clear, there is not just one algorithm. There are multiple, there are hundreds, if not thousands, depending on how you count. From the TLS algorithm to encrypt your browser traffic to the insertion sort algorithm, assuming that they use insertion sort to sort the comments on popularity. But what most people mean when they talk about the YouTube algorithm are the artificial intelligence recommender algorithms, which are described in this paper, which are used by YouTube Home, YouTube Search, and YouTube Suggested. I will make more videos about these individual algorithms, so make sure you are subscribed for that. How these algorithms exactly work is still a mystery. Besides that YouTube is not very forthcoming with information about these algorithms. Also YouTube engineers themselves don't know how the AI works because that's one of the inherent downsides of AI. But as creators we can observe how some of these algorithms work so we can learn from that to promote our videos. Let's start with the speech recognition algorithm and you can really easily see this algorithm hard at work when you go to one of your YouTube videos then click on the three dots over here and then click on open transcript and then when you play the video you can see that it transcribes everything that you say in the video and this is why it's important to fill out the language of the video when you upload a video because then the algorithm can recognize it. The next one is the natural language AI which is a text recognition algorithm. You can see a demo of this algorithm on Google's website. When I put in the script of this video you can see how it recognizes the text in the script and what kind of entities that it finds in the script. In this case, YouTube, algorithm, algorithm, video, text recognition, algorithm, work, Google, viewers. But also the sentiment of the text. Where does the text have a negative sentiment? For example, over here, because more watch time means that viewers stay longer on the platform, so YouTube earns more money with ads. But it also analyzes the syntax of every sentence in the text. This is basically the algorithm that Google uses to index websites, but also YouTube YouTube uses to index the transcript that we had earlier, but it also uses it for the title and for the video description. But it can also recognize a category from the text. For example, here it's about online media, computer science and TV online video. And this explains why the category section in your upload flow is not important anymore. And this algorithm also explains why tags are not important anymore, because tags are literally the entities that you can find over here. And these tags 
tags are the internal search labels which I talked about in my video about ranking because once you release a video YouTube starts to test these internal search labels and based on the viewer behavior on those internal search labels it decides if it should promote the video further or not. And the next one is pretty famous because it's literally Google Translate, which is able to translate text from one language to the other. And YouTube uses this to auto-translate subtitles, for example, into a completely different language. For example, English to Dutch. However, there's a huge bug on YouTube that recognizes the wrong language on a video, even when the language of the video is set correctly in the upload flow. Over here, it's okay because it says English and that's correct. But when I look over here, then it automatically recognizes Dutch on an English video. But like you can see over here, these subtitles are completely gibberish. I've had it happen to Dutch, Portuguese, and I saw some of Catherine Manning's videos being recognized as gibberish Japanese. The problem is YouTube probably has no clue what is being said in the video, meaning that you should be super clear in your title and description what your video is about. Then the vision AI, which lets Google or YouTube understand images. For example, your thumbnail. It can recognize faces and emotions of faces, but it can also recognize objects like here, glasses and person. And also here it generates search labels, glasses, product, vision care, eyewear, phone, tartan event and it recognizes text in images like here computer programmer properties which is mainly about colors and aspect ratios but also if it is safe for search is it adult content spoof medical violence or is it maybe racy i've heard that google is expanding this algorithm to recognize signs so street signs for example but also famous objects like the eiffel tower so it knows where the image is being taken Parts of this algorithm are used in the next algorithm, the video intelligence algorithm. Regretfully, Google put the demo of this algorithm, so I can only show you some archive footage over here. It does basically the same thing as with images, but every image is a frame in the video. Also, here it assigns search labels to everything it sees. Dinosaur, vehicle, tree, and it even recognizes explicit material. And I can already imagine how that Monday meeting must have gone. Manager to John, John! You're on detection this week. John had to feed the AI samples and able to train the AI. And every time when a colleague passed by his desk, what are you doing, John? Uh, that's uh, for the algorithm. Sure, John, sure. And after a couple of hours, John was all of a sudden the most popular guy in the department. With machine learning, an algorithm looks at patterns in a large collection of data. The YouTube algorithm constantly tries to predict what viewers want to watch next. So the YouTube algorithm looks at patterns in viewing behavior. And the YouTube algorithm tries to find patterns in viewers' interests. If a lot of male viewers around 40 with two children watch a lot of videos about 90s retro video games, also watch a lot of videos about 90s movies, then the algorithm suggests more videos of 90s movies to 40-year-olds with two children that watch a lot of retro or video game videos. AIs are normally trained with thousands, ten thousands of samples to give reliable results. But when you have a small channel with only a couple of videos, the YouTube algorithm can't recognize patterns. It is actually a testament to YouTube's fantastic engineering skills that you can get any views on a channel with less than a thousand videos. The way that YouTube solved this is actually pretty clever, which is a huge opportunity for you as a small channel, which I will talk about in a video what most creators don't know about YouTube ranking. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe.